Hello, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a school management website in WordPress. For this example, I'll be using infinityfree.net. Once on infinityfree.net, all you have to do is tap on sign up now. After you have done that, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, all you'll have to do is fill in your email address, create a password, then confirm the password and tap on sign up. Let me do that real quick. Once you're finished signing up and you have verified your account or your email address, you'll be redirected to this dashboard. And from here, all you have to do is tap on create account. After selecting create account, you can scroll down and from here you will see the option subdomain or custom domain the domain needs to point to infinity news and from here you can tap on subdomain then you are going to type in the name that you would like the website to have so for example i'll type in simple answers with an extra s then tap on check availability and by the way you can change the domain extension if you want then you'll quickly scroll down and from here you'll enter the account password right here. So let me do that real quick. Then tap on create account. Then you'll fill out this quick. Then tap on verify. After you have done that, you're going to give it a few seconds. And now you can see that your account has been created. So all you have to do now is tap on open control panel. Then give it a few seconds. Then you'll tap on I approve. And the C panel is loading. Just give it a few seconds to load up. After it has loaded up, you're going to scroll down and I want you to scroll down until you see soft this right here. You're going to tap on this and it is going to redirect you to this page and just give it a few minutes to load up. It normally takes less than 20 minutes, like two minutes. Just give it a few seconds as they are creating your WordPress website. Once it has loaded up, you'll be redirected to this page. Now all you have to do is tap on install right below WordPress. And after you have tapped on install, you are going to quickly scroll down. And from here, you will see your URL and you will also see your site name. And then you can tap on quick install. After you have tapped on quick install, all you have to do now is scroll down and from here you'll be able to select a theme and don't worry the theme that you're selecting now in the future if you want you can change it. So all you have to do is tap on the theme that you're going to use just for now and you'll tap on select theme. Then tap on install. And then give it a few seconds. Okay, let me fill in the admin username right here. Okay, after I filled in the admin username, I'll now tap on install again. And you can see that it is now creating my WordPress website.
and once it is finished as you can see right here all you have to do now right where you see administrative url you are going to tap on that and it is going to carry you to this page and from here you'll be in your wordpress dashboard as you can see right here and what i want you to do is go over to the left and menu option and right where you see plugins you are going to tap on add new and in the search bar in the right hand column you are going to tap on that and from here you are going to type in school management then tap on enter and then you'll see different school management system plugins that you can install as you can see right here there are numerous options you can choose from but for this example i'll select the wordpress one as it has the most active installations so i'll select this one right here so i'll tap on install now Then tap on activate. Now once the plugin has been activated, what I want you to do next is go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to see WP School Press. And then after doing that, I want you to select dashboard. So you are going to hover over it, then you are going to select dashboard. And after selecting dashboard, you'll be redirected to this page. And from here, you can see teachers, students, parents. So you'll be able to add teachers, students, parents, and also classes and attendance. So you can manage everything that has to do with your school. And you can also see the calendar right here. So you can set up your activities calendar. So let's say, for example, you want to add a teacher. You could tap on teachers at the top left hand corner. Then from here, you will see the option create new in the top right hand column and you could simply tap on that. Then give it a few seconds and from here you could add the teacher's picture. Then you can se select whether they are male or female and you can add their first name, middle name, last name and you can also add their date of birth and qualification. And you'll quickly scroll down and you can add their email address if you want. Then you'll tap on submit. And you can also add students by tapping on students from the left hand menu option. And you could select create now. And then you will be able to add students. And also if you have a list created already, you can select import and you'll be able to import the list. And you can also add parents by tapping on parents. And you can see right here, you could tap on create now and you'll be able to add parents. And when it comes to classes, you can see the different subheadings. So you can add subjects. You can also add marks and exam. As you can see right here by tapping on create new in the top right hand corner, you'll be able to do that. And also you can add attendance if you want. Student attendance, teacher attendance teacher's attendance and you can also select events so you could add events to your calendar and that's it hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching